Dell M2800. This one's from a couple years ago. Um, it's been my daily driver. Uh, it's an engineering computer, really. This isn't your ultra broke, ultra book. That's nice and sleek and thin and lightweight. This is. It's pretty heavy. This is back when you had all the ports you could need, docking stations, DVD drive, all that fun stuff. Anyway, came with a 5400 RPM uh, hybrid hard drive. So at this point in its life, it's gotten way too slow and I need a faster solution. So I've got an SSD for it and I'm going to show you how to swap these out. Um, so hopefully it'll help somebody else that wants to do a, an SSD upgrade for this. Before you get started, you got to make sure you got the right tools, which I'm going to show you. Make sure you've got your data backed up. Um, I keep most of my data in the cloud, so for me it's pretty easy to swap and, and do a, uh, a fresh reinstall Windows. I've just got a few applications to put on there and I'm good to go. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the tools you're going to need for this. Uh, I have an, a nice iFixit kit here that my wife got for me a few years ago and it has pretty much everything you could want for fixing electronics. Basically you're going to need a screwdriver with the right size bit and you'll be able to do this. It's a, it's a five minute job. Really easy and straightforward. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so get yourself an old shirt so you can flip it over without scratching up the top of your computer. Mine already has enough scratches in it. Um, and what we're looking at here, let me turn this around, get a better shot of it. We've got screws here. Okay, so we've got a screw here and a screw here. And then you've got a nice little area here we can pull it out. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so those two screws are removed, and we can slide down our drive. As you can see, it's the old spinning disc type. That's the motor. 500 gig, uh, 5400 RPM, way too slow. So what I've done here is picked up a uh, solid state drive. Um, I believe I picked this up a year ago. Actually, I put it in my gaming PC. Uh, I don't use it that much anymore, so I'm going to pull it out of there and repurpose it for my laptop. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this enclosure to this one. So grab your screwdriver again, and you've got a screw here. On the other side, it's just a pin that fits in the hole on the drive. I'll show you in a minute. It's a really tiny screw. Careful not to lose it. And you can pull this out, and you can see the pin that fits into this side of the drive. So now we got that off. And what we're going to do is just remove these one by one, transfer to the new drive. So that we get them the right way. We want everything to go back together smoothly. Okay, so grab Find your pin again, and your screw hole, let's slide it, slide it right in there. And then grab your screw, screwdriver, and attach this side. Don't over torque it, just uh, tight, and then don't get too crazy with it. All right, let's move this aside. We'll grab the computer and stick the new SSD in it. Okay, so now we got our computer back here. We've got our drive ready with the little isolators on there. And we're gonna reverse the process here. We're just gonna slide this guy in. And you'll feel it kinda of click into place. Then we're gonna grab, grab our screws here. Reinsert. Get it tight and then, you know, a quarter turn past tight. Don't over torque. And there it is. 
at this point you've got your drive back in you can uh, install a fresh copy of Windows on there or Linux whatever your preference is uh, I usually have a USB key for Windows 10 and pop that in there format fresh install ready to go okay guys so I hope that was simple enough for you um, ask any questions you like in the comments and uh, please like and give me a subscribe if you want this is my first video I'm gonna put together some more tech related videos we're gonna do some tech reviews and stuff like that so until next time this is Jason peace